Back to the forecast now. Finally, some sunshine in the Carolinas. A live look over Uptown tonight. Brad has been so great to see sun. We have another sunny day before we get some big changes headed our way, right? Yeah, and Thursday's a mess. I mean, we seem like we're going to pay for the sunshine pretty quickly here. A beautiful sunny day today. Tomorrow, probably as much sun for the first half, but clouds increasing. This is the culprit right here. This is the winter storm number two moving across the southern plains, northern Texas. Again, almost identical locations hit just two days ago. This winter storm is going to be moving across the southeast and this go around for us. We've got colder air in place to the north and northwest. You can see the flow coming out of the north northeast. That cold dry air is going to be very shallow. It's trapped up against the mountains. We call that cold air damming. You've heard that a lot here in the last week because that's what plagued us with the clouds. This go around the cold air is a little bit further south and because of the track of the low is a little further south. That means the cold air can get pulled down much further to the south as well. So I expect some icing going on maybe even into early Friday north of this warm front as the warm air rides up and over the cold air at the surface. Now this is pretty easy forecast as far as the type. It's either rain or ice in this situation. There's very little chance of snow with this because the low would have to track way down here and the cold air would have to be much deeper. Now we could see some sleet because what's going on is we've got this warm layer aloft, so you could bounce between the sleet initially, but I think we're going to spend a lot of time very close to the rain freezing rain threshold where it's warm almost all the way to the ground. And remember, freezing rain is liquid falling from the sky. It looks just like rain. The only difference it's below freezing at the surface. In fact, that's the only winter precipitation where it has to be 32 or lower. You can get sleet and snow if the temperatures above our heads are cold enough for it to make to the ground as frozen precipitation. But that freezing rain, it's essentially like taking a hose out on a cold day and spraying everything down. That's what freezing rain does. That's why it's so messy as well. You can see tomorrow we start with some high clouds, but there'll be some sun at times, so not bad tomorrow. Temperatures mid to upper 40s, maybe close to 50, but here comes the moisture. Now it'll probably start as rain, maybe a little sleet at the onset, but then look at all this pink. This is going to be freezing rain, and my concern is the trend in the pattern the last couple days has been for the colder air to sink further south. So putting Charlotte and parts of South Carolina now in a risk for some icy weather, but it's still a very close call. Look at these temperatures, 32, 33. Tenth of degree difference is a difference between ice and rain. So I think it's going to mix in quite a bit here, and we might look out with a cold rain, but it's going to be close. The northern part of Mecklenburg, Gaston County, you're under a winter storm watch for a reason because I expect part of the county is going to have some ice. And right now, I expect the whole northern half of the county, maybe down to the state line, will get a glazing to five one hundredths. But the big icing up here is a real concern because the prolonged period of cold weather and moisture means damaging, maybe crippling ice storm for parts of our area. A tenth of an inch, that tends to cause some issues on the roadways, occasionally a, a power line, but really it's a quarter inch where we start running into big time power issues. And once you get up to around a half an inch, you've got major problems. We're talking long term widespread tree and power line damage and that ice storm setup is really looking like it could happen north of Interstate 40. So be prepared now. You've got two full days to get ready for this. Be prepared for prolonged power outages for parts of the area, especially north of I-40 and even closer to Charlotte. I couldn't rule out an isolated power outage just because the trees are weakened from all the recent rain and it wouldn't take a whole lot to cause some issues, especially on the north side of town. We've got 24 to 36 hours before the moisture starts to move in, but the worst of this will be Friday or Thursday, I should say, into early Friday before it dries out this weekend.